Now, I mean, how can you... This is just fantastic. Also, probably content warning. Here comes the, the, the biggest horror element in this game. Th this will be the scariest part of this entire stream right here. Here it goes. Settings, invert, Y axis on. <gasps> oh my god! Can we turn this? Changing the FOV will. Uh, no. Alright, we'll, we'll leave it as is. Just make sure it's still on. Yep. Can we change some video settings? Let's have a look. Fidelity FX. Super resolution. I kind of want to see what this game has to offer. Let's turn off motion blur. Um, quality recommended? No, hi. I appreciate that they they know me well. They're like, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want to see this game. You want to want to see the specular lighting on them gory flesh parts. Um, same. I was just about to go to bed and then I saw this. Now I have to fall asleep to Bimple's horror stream. Can we get some pogger face for inverted Y? Sure. Here, hold on. Yo! Inverted Y access doll. Oh, poggy woggies. Oh. Oh, I think that cured my pumpkin disease. Flesh. <laughs> Or is this um, Russian artist that does a lot of paintings of hell? I don't think they're alive anymore, but they did a lot of pictures of paintings of hell, and that really does feel like what this entire game was um, in influenced and in inspired by. Oh boy, I sure do love the flesh pits! Oh no, I want to go to the flesh pits. Come on! Let me fall in the flesh pits. Ooh, that did, that looks painful. Oh. Splash of art feels like HR Geiger. Yeah, that's uh, what a lot of people have been saying. It's the HR Geiger uh, game. This is a puzzle shooter horror game. Its gameplay uh, is kind of all over the place. Love the art style. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a good description. This is called... Scorn. I want to go to the flesh pits. I'm honestly disappointed I have five fingers. <laughs> Why don't I have six fingers? <laughs> On both hands. I just, I just want many fingers and flesh. Um, you can expect me to be making a lot of noises, uh, sounds even, and also fla saying flesh a lot. I'm sorry. Look at the flesh. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is uh, scarcely a game, but a museum of bones and flesh. Five finger thing is probably to make the character more rel relatable. I relate to them already. We're on our way to the flesh pit. Ooh, sprint, shift to run. We don't need a tutorial and I'm glad. What does that sound? I kind of like how musky this place is. It's not as bloody as I was expecting. It's more musky, musky, dusty, Dry. It's like dry bone. It's like this entire place is in, in, in like, agony. Excuse me, let me into the door. The flesh door, please. Can I jump? No jumping in this game. At least not yet. I don't have my jumping flesh legs yet. <gasps> I can see myself. Ooh, I'm very fleshy. 
Them quads, though. This place is a bit... This is this is very no. It's stone. I got some dirt. Kind of wish I could see outside a little bit. I thought that he was gonna squeeze his way into it. Oh, I guess he is. Oh, there's no way back from that. Welcome to the flesh room. What are we doing here? Alright, just go ahead and put your hand in the hole and see what happens. That looks painful. Oh. Go! Fly! Up, up, and away! <laughs> Someone knows what I'm doing. I got you. He made this the Spider Man fist. I've got the flesh key. I don't like how he, like, touched it before he put his entire fist into it. Alright, this is what we do. Oh, yeah. All right, you invertebrates, it's time to learn how to do the sponge. Uh, how does one escape this device? Escape. Escape. Alt, delete. Hello? Tab? Escape? No. Oh, okay, I hold the right click button, okay. Excuse me, you... Stay there. Oh. Okay, listen, I know I know I'm supposed to run through that door. I understand that, but I, I kind of want to explore a little bit. Because there's a lot of flesh things happening here. Can I drink from this flesh bowl? No? Okay. Well, that's fine. See if I care. That's sour flesh water right there. I don't need it. Is that a flesh motorcycle? Dang, son. This is it, game over, yeah. Oh, I gotta, I gotta solve it again, huh? Alright. I just, you know, I wanna, I wanna look at all of the flesh. That, uh, that extra little click there really leads me to believe that it's gonna stay put. But it doesn't, so... Welcome to my Golem of Pain! This is the Pain Staircase. You're going to have to walk up, up it and down it many times until you get them quads. Feel the burn. All right. What's up here? Nothing. Ooh. Another flesh device. Ooh. That's not flesh. What is that? Yo. Ooh. This is actually really cool. Please observe the flesh. Use. Oh, we are diverting. Flesh tracks. Interesting. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm assuming I can jump into that vehicle if one could describe it as that. So let's uh let's check out the first zone. Thank you. 
What are we doing here? What's up? What if, what's this entire game so far is what does this do? <laughs> what does that do? Are we okay? Are we doing what are we doing, son? Uh something tells me I am missing components. Hey, I'm a tan. Ooh, scorn is out. I'm not trying to distract from Scorn Bimple, but is that vintage story farming early act survival tutorial video in the works? I could still use it. Uh, not yet. I'm still working on uh, delivering uh, episodes of the series. Can I get in this thing? What are we doing here? Oh, I don't. I can't do anything with it yet. Why not? Um, it's in the works and as much as it's in the back of my mind and I may do it. Um, I am thinking about it. But it means a lot of work from my end and a lot of editing, so. I'm happy to do it, but I, I have to be, I have to find that, their motivation, you know? What is, what are we doing here? What is this thing? What is that thing? What are we, what, what's up? All right. Clearly, I have to find the, the, the correct flesh room. Um, and then we send the vehicle henceforth to that room. Is this... What's this room doing? Ooh. Hmm. It's missing components. All I have to say is uh, it gets a little bit more fun at the end. There's a lot of things that don't have what they need yet. So what's this what's this thing? Oh. That's a big no. What about this thing? Ah. So one thing opens the door and the other thing uh, unlocks the door. But I can't do both at once. And uh, yeah, all right. Almost looks like it's there's words in the muck there. Am I wrong? Kind of looks like there's words, but not really. <laughs> Lots of rooms. Can't do anything with that. I need to find the first thing that I can interact with that does a thing. We need a flesh friend. That's true. I would agree with that, actually. We do need a fresh, a flesh friend. A, a friend. No, that doesn't work. A flend. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that looks like a fun device. Hmm. Uh, this uh, place, as they say, does not resonate with joy. I really do love the design of this place. This guy is just like, don't look at me. I'm not okay. Biotech isn't super new, new or unique, but I concept, I love how the control panels in this area are so disgustingly fleshy. How many uh, 
different colored fleshy eggs does the game need? Uh, clearly there is no limit. Sky is a limit for flesh eggs. Can I go through here? No. It's a window. Flesh window. So we got our rails here. The rails, they do be rolling along. I watched, uh, I watched yesterday, um, train wreck of Woodstock 99. That was fun. Uh, fun for me to watch it and not for the people who actually went to Woodstock 99. Although I'm sure some people had a blast. Uh, that was, that is, like, honestly this game has heavy, uh, heavy, heavy Woodstock 99 vibes is all I'm saying. So what does this do? I don't think I've played with this one yet. Man, there's a lot of things that do things that I don't understand, those things. And, and we need to do some things that I don't know yet. I'll figure it out, I'm sure, but right now, I'm, I'm a little lost. I bet this is what the bases in the brood from StarCraft look like. Yeah. I bet you, um... At the time, Blizzard had someone, like the art director for uh, StarCraft, was a HR Geiger fan. Because uh, definitely the Brood has some Geiger vibes. <laughs> Person who has only ever seen one artist. This game has Geiger vibes. Alright, we continue the, um, confusion. Ooh. We got some bodies. Can I walk around this thing? I can. Can I push this thing? I cannot. Place is very quiet. I love the atmosphere of this game, and I actually appreciate how non-horror this is so far. Like, I know it's got horror aesthetic but you know it, uh, it beyond that it I don't I don't really feel stressed out or uneased I just feel kind of I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of co cool with this this is good a thing that actually does something you mean the elevator the elevator did do something didn't it It brought us to a place of more, um, confusion. Can't go through here. Hey, Andrino. I bet this is what, uh, you are, I already read that one, sorry. <laughs> That's what happens. I'll look at chat, uh, and then I read the last message again. That's a bimple error right there. Error, please, res please insert new comment. Um, yeah, not a whole lot up here to look. Oh, wait a minute. What do we got here? Can we do something with this? Okay, okay. This looks like something maybe. This could be it. This could be what we need. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> I feel like I'm close, though. I feel like this is almost the start of the puzzle. But I think that thing needs something. And then on the right side there, there's a lot of things that I could give it. So I gotta find the panel. Ooh, maybe this is the panel right here. Yeah, this could be it. Here we go. All right. All right. There you go, buddy. Uh, Imatan had a uh, said a message which has been hidden because he posted a rhino emoji. 
No more rhino emote since it's shadow banned. I don't know why. Sounds lovely. Maybe in a hundred years we'll have figured out audio tech. This is from uh, far from horror. Speaking of which, October almost over and you played only two horror games. I mean, I played many, like, atmospheric games. What, what's, did you do it? Grab it. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you want? What do you want from me? Okay, it doesn't want that. Maybe it wants something else. Is this actually a, uh, like a switch puzzle? Okay. Uh, which one do you think it wants? Do you wants do you think it wants the ones that have a light on? I'm gonna go with it wants the ones that have a light on. The flesh arm is just a little down today. Don't push it too hard. All right. The flesh arm is stressed out. Oh, okay. Oh, you broke it, dude. Why'd you have to break it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you... D arm, you had one job and you did it badly. Why did you have to do... Why did you have to break it? I have to go get the other one. Oh no, this one's even harder to get. I don't even know if I can get that one. How do how do how would I get that one? Uh, that's a nightmare. The real nightmare is this the sliding puzzles. So, th there's only room for a single piece. How am I going to break this one off? I don't understand. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best anyway. Do your best, do your best. Every single day. Do your best, do your best. Okay. We we do be sliding puzzles. Hey, Dubs. Claw game. Dimple is bad at cr crane games. T statistically speaking, everyone is bad at crane games. Oh, okay, hold on. This one isn't... I thought it was a Tetromino, but it's not. Okay, so this one is actually doable. I'm gonna have to do... I, I'm gonna have to do be sliding a lot of things around to make it possible, though. Can we slide it this way? No. Okay, this is, uh, this is gonna be slightly labor-intensive. So I watched um, the entire series, or the, the new series of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. And I have thoughts. I have thoughts on that. Um, I think it's a little bit of a shame that they, they it kind of turned into a format show. A little bit. Okay, this is uh, not correct, is it? Yo, puzzle games. Remember Grimrock? I do remember Grimrock. I'll never forget Grimrock. Grimrock is w still one of my favorite games. I would love to do uh, Grimrock content for my channel at some point. I did a playthrough on my old Twitch channel, but that is lost to the alms of time. Um... 
Okay, we're, we're actually kind of getting somewhere now. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. We gotta move this down. Move this down. Move this down. And then we gotta move this over, and that's pretty much it solved. Did you know that the na name of the character for this game is John Scorn? I don't believe you. Yo, this one little nugget is going to cause me a lot of problems. How the heck am I going to get that nugget out of there? Oh my god. <laughs> I You really got to move like everything out of the way. Before you can get this stupid chicken nugget in there. Alright. That's it. There's nothing left. Alright, we've done it. As long, as long as his name is Michael Skarn. Format shows. I just, um, like, they, they maintain the kind of, like, it's a cute kid show except that something isn't right and it's weird and, and unsettling. But, um, since they have to kind of stick to a certain amount of time for each episode, and, uh, because they have to kind of maintain a certain consistency of things, I kind of think that every episode just feels very similar in nature. Whereas something I really appreciated about the original Don't Hit, Hug Me, I'm Scared is that um, it feels like it's saying something or it's going somewhere, but you don't know when or how things are going to become unsettling. Um, and, uh, you know, it had, it had a bit more um, variety in its format, I guess, because it, it wasn't rigidly structured. So I do feel like maybe structure hurts Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared a little bit. And also, they already said something pretty poignant with the original Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared about like the nature of media. Um, <clears throat> like, you know, basically how we consume and or present media. Um, and I, th I, like, I just wonder, is, is the... You know, the rabbit was the rabbit already pulled out of its hat? What are they going to do for a full format series? It's very clear to me that they are setting up for a season two. It just, um, it does kind of reek of, like, this was a good idea, but now it's something we have to uh, fit into a box. Also, are, is it just me or are the frames really bad? G can, guys, can you confirm for me if the frames are really bad on your end? Will you play the Rick and Morty universe game where the weapons are alive? If they give me a key, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I say that with spite. I know they won't will not give me a key, but the game to me does not um, seem like a good time. Oh, what? Where are you? Oh, there you are, friend high on life. I want him to play Pocket Mortys. Green is not a cre uh, creative color. Scorn Nuggets sounds like a legit product tie-in. Now introducing our new KFC tie-in. Scorn Nuggets. You can buy like 50 of them for a dollar because they are just flesh. Please buy them. Alright. Hello a uh, little grunty gremlin f fellow. It's a little choppy. I'm just wondering if I should turn the settings down a little bit. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> They're not gonna give you a key after you bagged on the brilliant and hilarious character that is Naruto Smith. No, but they're certainly gonna not give me a key after I say that that game looks bad and is also not funny. Oh, wait a minute. Direction. There we go. Get into your chair, friend. Here you go. 
I, I've given you a little chair. Aren't you happy? Like, if I somehow got a key for that game, that would be kind of cool, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. All right, friendo? Are you okay? Do you need a Cheeto? You definitely have a face hole that could fit a Cheeto. Is that your nose or your mouth? That's definitely your nose. Where is your mouth? Friend? What's up? You're looking at me. It's kind of unsettling, actually. Alright, wanna go on a ride? Yeah, you like that, don't you, friend? Maybe I don't speak his language. I gotta I gotta speak uh gremlin. Well, okay. Alright, what are we doing here? I don't know what's gonna happen next. It could be anything. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I kind of feel like the humane option is better in this game. What did I just do to him? Is there, like, is there choices in this game? Like, am I choosing to do this, or is it just, like, I'm, I, I happen to be falling onto the, onto, on des decisions which are not kind? It hurts us. Did I give him a hat? Is that what I did? Why would you do that? Poor guy didn't sign up for this. I don't know what he signed up for. Is there something over here? I don't think I don't think there is. I think I need to divert. So what uh, what did I do to him that caused him pain? Was it just giving him a hat? The only choices in this game are to play or not to play. So literally, the kindest thing I could do to him is uninstall the game. Is that what you're saying? Bimple just de-egged my boy. <laughs> is that what? Did he have an egg? Did I take his egg from him? What? What is happening? Okay, so there's the rail. We gotta divert that. Let's go that way. Let's see what's over there. Can I fall down here? No. Interesting um, choices. For like verticality, you can't really fall or jump. <laughs> so what's that's what circum? <laughs> Not reading that one. Why would you do- I do like why would you do that. I don't know. <laughs> the button- because all of the other buttons didn't do anything. But when I press this button, it worked. And by worked, I mean, are you okay? And you seem like you're in pain. <clears throat> what are we doing to this poor creature now? What, what are we doing? Okay. Oh, I, I like I'm in uh, honestly, f f uh, friend. I'm as much a participant as as, uh, as you are in this. I don't have a choice. I'm sorry. These are the buttons that work. Ooh, sorry. Right there, bud. I, I like I don't I don't have a say in this. Uh, I can't believe my Rhino emotes can't shut up. Even the Kev even you talking about. Wait. But you can talk about 
Yeah, the thing is, you, you just got shadow banned for saying that, Kevbo, and I'm not even gonna unhide it. <laughs> it's an unfair world. Oh. What was the point in that? For real, though. What was the point? Hello? Oh, we got an arm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so maybe I can use the arm over here. I don't need a friend. I just need an arm. Is that the- is that the- what's happening? Okay, let's try squishing an arm in here. Oh, yeah. No, that doesn't work? Is that- is that me- is that the game telling me no, that's not okay? So we have an arm for a purpose. We can't tell you what the purpose is. Do I need another egg lad? Is that what's up? Flesh friend, important part, acquired. Game is kind of weird. <laughs> Understatement of the century, I think. What about this thing? Seems to me, the game is telling me this thing has one finger too many. Is that what's up? I feel like I messed up. I feel like I was supposed to send our, our friend lad to one of these other rooms. This doesn't work. Could I have sent our egg lad over here? You could have saved that gremlin, now feel terrible. <laughs> what? I could have- well, I had a choice? I guess I could have sent him down this rail here. But what do I do with the uh, arm? You got what you needed to progress. It has an unneeded pinky. Is there only the one lad that I can get? Well, knowing that there is some kind of choice there it makes me actually want to play this game again after I'm done here. But, um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do... ...with this arm. Yeah, it's- it's- it's got a, a pinky that's not working for it. We're gonna try and find, um, a useful tool that'll be fun later. Is there any other useful parts here? No. We're done with this thing, right? Yeah. Elevator doesn't worth it. I think it's the only choice you get. If only that hand Bimple recycled off the egg fellow had that awful biological dongle installed in it, like Bimple's hand does. Is that the answer? I have to give it a dongle? There's stuff up here I could maybe do. Wink, wink. Appreciate the tip. Eh. Eh. I don't remember where I got that dongle, but I, I thought that it was in a room that is no longer accessible to me. Uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm gonna explore though. I'm gonna try and find a thing that will give it a dongle. I'm exploring. Oh my god. A lot of doors I can't go through. It's a pip boy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a flesh boy. <laughs> I was gonna say something else that rhymed, but yeah. PG-13 stream. Somehow. Is this still a PG-13 stream? I don't think it is. I think we could swear on here now, right? Isn't it rude to put your dongle in a stranger's hand? I don't know. Not if you have their consent. And I don't speak gremlin, but I have to say that uh, probably <laughs> was probably yes. I'm okay with this situation, and I would prefer if you continued. Please, um, give me a hat and then crunch me into a bowl. I would appreciate that. I'm pretty sure that's what they said, right? All right, I think this is where I came from, maybe? It's a PG <laughs> stream until someone drops the rhino. What is this room? Stop trying that. <laughs> Can I? Um, I kind of- oh, wait. Is this what I need? There we go. There we go. <laughs> now we have a friend. <laughs> when Fallout 4 modded series. <laughs> can we- we can stick it in now? There we go. My little brother getting destroyed by uh, Lionel's in Bre Breath of the Wild. Funny. You guys ever- whoa. Can I have that back actually? Okay, cool. So the, the, we have- we do have what we need now. Um, you, you guys ever imagine Bimple as the Fallout 4 modded dude? <laughs> Andrino very subtly suggesting that I become the Fallout 4 modded dude. Andrino, try and use mom mentality. Uh, let's get a couple of like alt accounts where you're like, yeah, no, Bimpo, you should totally do modded for uh, f Fallout 4. It would work. Andrino uh, 6969. Yeah! Yeah, like, we, we would love some Fallout 4 modded content. Okay. Yeah, bud. Can I have this back now? No, I can't. An arm is spent. Man. I am curious about all of the different things we could have done to little egg gremlin lad. I'm a, I'm a little bit sad that we won't find out all the creative ways we could have made his day better. Too much work. Why did Fallout 4? Let's go! Rather suggest and wait on Pimple to just tell me how dumb my suggestion is using its funny face. Well, I don't think it's that dumb. I just, uh, I don't know if, if that's something that people want. Also, I'm playing like six games right now and all of them are very time consuming. Sorry for the flesh sounds. Yeah, I, it's a or, like I'm not dropping frames, but the the game does not look okay from what I can tell. So let me let me turn things down. 
I'll turn down at least Fidelity FX, see if that helps a little bit. That seems to help a little bit. Oh, we'll, we'll leave it for now. That didn't really make a huge difference. Well, we're PG-13 now. Uh, Pimple, honestly having to cut off someone's hand every time you want to open the front door doesn't seem very sustainable. And there's a total conversion mod that just makes it into Caves of Cud. More likely, there will be a total conversion mod for Caves of Cud that turns it into Fallout 4. And really all it'll do is it'll add an extra panel that lets you play Fallout 4 in Caves of Cud. This looks like a thing. Oh, I can't interact with that yet. I'm definitely going to have to play this game again. Just so I find out how we could... Ooh. This is an interesting place. I wonder if there will be hiding in this game. Hiding from fun friends that mean us no harm. All right. Oh, wow. I have like a lot of freedom on this one. What this game about? Oh, you tell me, friend. I'm just as much a participant. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I am doing it. <laughs> prequel to Fallout World. Oh, this is a prequel to Fallout 4? That definitely makes me want to play Fallout 4. <laughs> when do I get the flesh pip? Hey Gavin. It's technically possible someone already made so you can play Minecraft in Minecraft, right? Well, there's no real programming aspects in Caves of Cud. You know, like, there's no redstone logic gate system. So if they added that, then yeah, you could probably play... Well, you, at least you could play Doom in Caves of Cud. That would work. What? What's the purpose of all, any of this? Uh, I don't understand. Am I wrong? What, what did we do? Did I not just open this door? I think they intend to expand the possibilities with powered devices in the world of code, but I'm not sure. I actually have Doom 1 installed on my fridge. Can you do it again? I'm trying. But I don't think I can. I don't even seem to be able to do anything with this thing. Unless I can take from one of these other things.
You can really get it up there. Um, there's other rooms to explore. I'm just wondering what, um, uh, what I actually accomplished in this room. That flying thing looks like it fits on the glow... <laughs> clitoris thing. No, 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 I put, I put the glow clitoris thing on the, the flesh tower, though. That was what I accomplished, but it, it opened the door. This is what happens when I don't pay very close attention to what I'm doing. Which I didn't. Alright, I, I don't think I can progress much in this room anymore, unless someone tells me that I can and I'm just not seeing a very obvious thing that I can do. So I'm gonna go back. Ooh. Uh, message retracted. Oh. Can I do something there? Can't seem to get up to that, whatever that is. Oh, okay. Uh, it does nothing, okay. I'm sorry if the stream is very choppy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I could try and fix it. Chat seems to be okay so far with it. I haven't seen much complaining, but I, I, I don't... Wait, what? Was that me? What the... Okay, hold on a second. Pretty sure that was my mouse. Had a little bit of dust in it. It kind of felt like the game was like quaking. Brought good studio microphone for absolutely dirt cheap price. Expect podcasts incoming soon. Solid. Excellent. This is where I came in. So let's check out this right side. I'm a Tans podcast. This beer good? This other game? Shit. Don't don't play this game. But drink this beer. Is this a different flesh place? Or the same from a different angle? Oh, this is very much the same one. Um little little help? A little help, please. Don't know what to do. I don't know what's up with this one. This thing. Maybe I can interact with it with the thing? I thought I already did. But it would just be me talking to myself. Well, yeah, that's a podcast. Well, I mean, I guess some people can talk to other people as well. But Um, it's just gonna be something really stupid and obvious, isn't it? Like, I, I've already walked past the answer or something. Like, I can get over here. For some reason, the staircase goes up to nothing. I cannot jump or anything, so I can't get over there. Cannot interact with whatever that is. Can I sneak through this? No. It's not really a lot of squeezing through stuff. While I get it against the theme, the game could do with some more clarity. A little bit. Um... I guess, it, you know, there's not much point to a puzzle that is explained. But I don't really feel like I understand the moving parts right now to this puzzle. If there is one, even. Like, I feel like there's something here. But it's like, it looks like it's done. 
Maybe I can do something with this? No? I can sort of almost climb up this thing. I don't think that's intended. I'm just exploring. I'm wondering if there's like more of those glowing things that I have to find and interact with. Like here, for instance. Game have a ton of biotech, but at the same time, everything feels dead. Dead biotech is certainly a thing. I keep trying to look down for some reason. Strongly dislike puzzle games because I'm smooth brain. I don't dislike puzzles. I dislike um, obtuse puzzles. We're not there yet. We're not at a, we're not at obtuse. You know. But I am I am a little bit confused. There's a lot of things in this game that I don't know how to interact with. Like I, I don't have the ability Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, maybe this is part of it. There seems to be a lot of these glowing things here. But I can't interact with that thing. I really hope I don't have to go back. There is nothing for me back there. The really reliable way to drive home that a place has been abandoned and or its creators have disappeared or dried out. Dot. I strongly dislike games where the main part of the puzzle is just to figure out what the puzzle even is. <laughs> Certainly there is a little bit of an element here in that, um, like, I, I, I am struggling to even know what the moving parts are in this game. This is where I came from. I really don't want to go back. Oh, it doesn't even give me the option. I'm glad. I'm actually very happy that it doesn't give me the option to go back. Because that means that I have all of the parts I need right here. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've been over there. I think I've been everywhere else but over here. Oh, that scared me a little bit. Alright. Okay, something new. Uh, a gun? Oh. Do we have gun? Ho ho ho! I don't think this is a gun. What's your opinion for Fiend Folio mod? I loved it. I thought it was amazing. I, I think that um, one of the things that has like really stopped me from playing more Binding of Isaac is that mods still stop you from uh, completing achievements, and I just think that that is really dumb. I'm sorry, I, I don't agree with that at all. Like, I just want to play the game. There's a there's mods, total conversion mods that add 
achievements. I had a whole bunch of cool stuff. And I just, like, I'm very much, um, like, uh, what's it? not, not, uh, I'm dissuaded from playing them because I can't just, like, achieve things, you know? I can't unlock things in the base game. And I just think that that is, it's just really silly. Are you guys enemies? Oh god, ouch. Okay. What the heck was that sound? I don't like these sounds. You have to, you can't just like, you can't just limb with the gun. You have to give it a break. It, it gets tired. Okay, so we have enemies and, and killing of the enemies now. Good to know. <laughs> Everything in this game moves in an unsettling and uncomfortable way. Okay, so we have three things now. We have done three things. Or two things. I do like this game. I'm glad. I'm glad that chat likes this game. Like this biotech and a live gun that is a little bit more alive uh probably okay so is this another ramp i can't do anything with yup so i'm assuming we need to get one more thing before i can uh I don't like those things. They're weird and gross. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh. So do I interact with it? No, this is spent. Is there another one on the other side I can interact with? I know what god-awful game you speak of. Sounds like an Aliens game. You are in hell, and there are tormented souls on the walls and stuff. I think I do know that game. I, I re recall that game did not do well. Agony. I actually kind of thought that this game was Agony. Like, th when I initially heard about this game, I was like, what? Didn't that game already come out or something? Is that a bad game? If so, Bimple could play it. I could play it. But there's bad, and then there's really bad. You know, like, there's bad, like, ooh, this is really bad. And I'm enjoying it. And then there's really bad where you know you just you just want to die the, the very magical thing about um 
uh, hunt down the Freeman is that it, it towed the line between both of those things. Do not play agony, no, no, no. How come? I mean, I don't have it, and I don't like to spend money on games that are bad, that I know are bad, and I'm not going to enjoy. <laughs> I like how it missed. <laughs> it missed a little bit, like, oops. Maybe it was me that missed. Weapon reminds me of the movie Existence. I have not seen that movie. Oh, that's not good. We, uh, we, we put too many glowy things on the tower and now it's unhappy. Ooh. Oh no. Gunnada! Tetsuwa! Hello, Dust. Yeah. The game, that game is too edgy. How can you be too edgy? Uh, did I die, did? No, I'm okay. I'm alive. Well, I mean, okay is very much relative. I must escape my flesh prison. This, this whole game is basically that scene from The Matrix, except many times. <laughs> I'm just re-escaping new layers of The Matrix. Everything I saw before now, that was all a simulation. Now I'm, I'm outside of The Matrix, which is also a flesh prison. But this is a simulation as well. If you like Inception, you'd probably like ex Existence. I don't know if that is a... a if that's true. <laughs> Everything I've heard about existence is that it is horrific. Ah! Ouchies! The flesh prison offers safety and warmth and moisture, but everyone's gotta, gotta always gotta escape, huh? Yeah. Let's hope no one puts a hat on you. It's amazing uh, what a sentence can do with context. <laughs> I'm okay right now in this wasteland, but let's just be grateful I don't have a hat. <laughs> that is the worst hat. I can't imagine. Oh jeez, Rick. I don't like this place. This is this is not okay. We've been we've been in a lot of places, but this one's not. This is a bad one. Can we go home? Can we go? Can we go? You should jump. You should jump into this flesh pod, Morty. This is flesh pods. It's pretty good. It's it's warm. And. uh... And they, they give you, they, they, you, you put this uh, umbilical in you, and, and then you just, they just kind of drip feed you beer. It's great. Uh, I don't know. I'm... We gotta make, we gotta make meth, Morty. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Morty. <laughs> if you wonder where all the phallic and other imagery went from this game, it's gone to agony. Demons with eggplant faces and stuff. They even took your dongle. Did I lose my dongle? I did lose my dongle. What? That's a ripoff.
Marty. Marty, don't, don't, don't want, go over there. Join me in the pod. The, the pod, Morty. You're going the wrong way. Good to come join me in the pod. Get, get, get rid of the dongle. Put, put this flesh umbilical into you. Ah, oh, Rick, aren't all umbilicals fleshy? Yeah, but this one's very fleshy. Put it in you. Oh, I don't know about that one. Get in the pod, Morty! Hey yo, Mr. Sanchez are making a meth. Hey yo, Mr. <laughs> I can't, I can't do a Jesse impression, I'm sorry. I can't even do a Morty impression, but you know, that won't stop me from doing a bad Morty impression. Morty, you gotta get, come on over here. You're gonna meet the ten thousandth eye of God. It's it's gonna it's gonna stare into you, Morty, and then you're gonna you're gonna understand all of the mysteries of the universe, and and then you will likely die. But for a fleeting moment, you will know, uh, you know, absence of pain. Come on, Morty, come on, get with the program. Do both Morty and Jesse. No. <laughs> okay. I guess you can't stop me from doing a bad impression of, of Morty and Jesse. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't since I can't do Jesse. There's there is there's an absence of, of key material there. All these empty pods kind of remind me of the Prophet comic reboot. I haven't read either the reboot nor the original Prophet. Also Pandorum. Oh, I love Pandorum. Pandorum is one of my favorite movies. That's That movie got a lot of hate, and I don't understand it. I love that movie so much. It's so good. And yeah, this game does kind of remind me of Pandorum. Gotta walk through this rib cage. Well, that's definitely a creature that means me harm. Okay, well, we go opposite the way of the flesh lizard. I feel like the devs intended a lot of the puzzle solving in this game as an introduction to the world. Uh, are you gonna kill me? Maybe. Um, and the introduction to the world just kind of became larger and larger and it kind of grew and then suddenly it was a puzzle game. The introduction was no longer an introduction, but the first level, quotation marks. Uh, John Scorn, look out! <laughs> interact with this thing? No. I'm missing a, a, a new dongle. I need an upgrade. Dongle 2.0. I hate the, how they keep updating the universal, uh, you know, serial bus dongle. It's like the first hand dongle was like square and rectangular and it worked. It was just, it just worked. It was fine. I mean, I, you have to flip it upside down every once in a while, but it was fine. And you know, that hurts because it's my arm, but uh, you know, then they changed to, uh, dongle 3.0, and you didn't have to flip it anymore, but it had uh, its fair share of, of problems. Well, it didn't really work so good. But, you know, you get a lot better of a data memory transfer. It's a lot quicker. Now we have this thing. Oh, we can interact with these things. No, we can't. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Big, how long will stream be? It, I'm gonna go until like four, three or four. It's not gonna be a super long stream. What can I, I, I can put this thing in here, all right. Oh, I, I like these kind of puzzles.
fun. I like it. So what, what is it now? We've got the first ring of pain on our device. John Scorn. Pandorum was the perfect horror adventure. Do Morty and Jesse's incest baby One Piece Smith. Oh, God damn it. Kevbo. I don't know about that one. I'm not doing that, also. <laughs> Rick, they're, they're, they're asking me to do a lot of strange things. I don't know about this place. Don't worry, Marty, Marty, just... You're gonna become an influencer, it's fine. Well, I don't think I... I don't wanna, I don't wanna be an influencer, Marty, Rick. It's fine. You're gonna get to do fun things like, uh, engorge weird flesh pustubules. Uh, that, that actually doesn't sound very fun. I don't know about that one. It's fine. Do it. Oh, wait. No, you, you gotta engorge the flesh tubule. Why didn't you do it, Morty? God damn it. What is this thing? Oh, yeah? Oh, elevator? Hmm, elevator. Nice. I, I, I like a thing I recognize in this universe. You know, it's a, it makes a welcome break from all of the other devices, which make zero sense. So, what's, what's going on here? Oh, God, Bimple, read my shadow band comment. I did. Let me just try and engorge this postubule postule again. So, why wouldn't you just leave it in? Just leave it in, dummy. Why you gotta be stupid and take the thing out? Alright, let's go up the elevator. The fact that Pimple and Morty have the same voice according to Pimple... Bimple means that Morty is the hand controlling the puppet. <laughs> the, the lore deepens. Technically, Morty is also a puppet, which I am also controlling. So, you know, that's that's how that works. Did you did you understand that? Oh. If you understood that, then I think we're too deep. I don't know if, uh, if Flesh Lizard is friend or enemy. Frenemy? F flesh -emy. Time to go into this thing. It's a fun device that we'll learn about later. Yes. It's time to vehicle the... <laughs> pilot the flesh vehicle. Alrighty. Well, do I want to do that? Maybe I don't want to do that. Oh, I see. We have choices. Oh, what happens if we go here? Is this like a cool 90 degree corner? Oh, that's actually really fun. Now you've got to find a new friend to borrow a hand from. Need a hand? <laughs> Why, yes I do. Here, friend. Take mine. Crunch. <laughs> Pop. Crackle, snap. Kellogg's friend's arm. Stays crunchy in milk. I, I don't know. Don't ask me. I, I could not tell you. Oh, good spinning things. Oh, fantastic. Can we walk through this thing if we're very careful? I don't think so. Something tells me no. Hello, lizard friend. Eh. So what is this thing? Nothing. Back to the bones. Mm, uh, flesh me scorn. <laughs> Um, now you've got to find a new friend. Oh, wait, wait, I already read that one. Please insert new comment. What is this place? Oh, yeah?
Well, someone broke this panel off. I feel like these, uh, postubules have been used already. Oh. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm unfortunately not the most observant person when it comes to world building. And I don't necessarily understand what I'm, what information is being conveyed to me when it comes to, um, like, environmental storytelling. So it might be that this game is doing some fun things with uh, environmental storytelling where it's, you know, sharing with me, uh, like, this world is... is... it hit different. Oh god! Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh, oh god! I still don't know if we're okay or not. <laughs> Turns out we're okay. Oh, uh, alright, we have a new lizard friend, Fleshimi. Our gun is back. Hey, is it, uh, uh, hello, Ale. I don't hear. The vibe I'm getting is that this place is slightly less dead, or more recently so, than the last place. So what can you tell me about this flesh plant? What, uh, what services does it provide, would you say? Is this like an uber flesh? Does it provide housing to those who are willing to, uh, sacrifice some of their security? <laughs> Ooh, well, it's suddenly political. So, apparently I'm okay. I mean, again, the term okay is very relative. You, you could say okay, you could say better than before. You could say, um, we are alright. I like the way the some of the sounds in this game change. Like uh, you, you get kind of this neat little environmental effect where, um, you know, some sounds get kind of quiet. There we go. Oh, different this time. doing oh I see I'm, I'm an idiot that's what I'm doing Second circle of pain inserted. It's fine, just a new friend. The flesh plant provides flesh. Oh, yeah. Well, that answers everything, honestly. Where do I put the uh, flesh gun when I'm not using it? We get our dongle back! Yay! 
I missed the dongle. <laughs> There's so many fun uh, things that we can insert other things into in this game. Did I already use this thing? Yes. Can we use this thing yet? No. Still still new and fun devices that we need interface with. Obviously your friend holds it for you with their tail when you're not using it. Define tail. <laughs> Define hold. Everything about this game is just redefining things. So I'm guessing that I don't have all of the rings yet for this thing. I need... Oh, it's giving me two pustules now. Instead of one. Yeah. Who said flesh doesn't grow on trees? <laughs> Well, up until now, I don't think anyone made the claim, but um, now we certainly can't ever do so. I'm just like roaming around at the speed of uh, slow. Watching those pustules come out, I have the weirdest. <laughs> I think that machine also has, uh, has feelings. I don't know what this place is. What's the deal with this place? I went through the right one. Oh, the right one is nothing. I think I went through that middle one, so let's try the left one now. Going through a spinal tunnel. What will I find on the other side? Fun devices we will find out about later. Hello, friend. Are you okay? Mm. Do you think he's alright? I hope so. I guess I was supposed to find out that I could, couldn't interact with this device yet. Oh. Hmm. What's with? Hmm. Alright. Given it acid bath, I guess. I'm assuming we want to do that with this tunnel so that we can get through here. Let's watch the flesh burn. <laughs> now, my question is, how did the how did the bodies get there in the first place? Pelvic bone. Nevster made it to the se uh, secret cool guy stream. <laughs> Welcome to the secret scorn stream. I am your host, Pimplesan. Alright, we are going into Acid Dome. All right, secret extra flesh entrance with bodies that needed removing. Oh, we get ourselves another circle of uh, pain on our device. Looking forward to seeing how this puzzle changes. Oh, look at that. The left side didn't function. That's fun. I like how that developed. Easy peasy. You know what this game kind of reminds me of? I mean, okay, so someone, um, I think it's Dylan, 
Um, the the guy who works on uh, Gloomwood. I follow their their stuff. They they they've got some they've got some good tastes on on games. One of the reasons I'm playing Prey is because they they recommended it. But anyway, um, they they likened this game more to Prey or sorry not to Prey um Mist than like most shooters. And I think that that is the reason I I think that this does have Mist vibes is because it um it's giving me Witness vibes in in some ways. Like some of the puzzle, uh, some of the ways the puzzles work, kind of feels a little bit like Witness. I'm sure I've just ruined this game for a lot of people, but the reason, uh, I mean, the Witness was very much influenced by uh, Mist. John Blow basically wanted to make a Mist like. I think there could be more Mist likes. I wouldn't mind playing Mist, but I know that it's a very, very opaque game. And uh, I, I'm not necessarily good with certain kinds of puzzles, so I feel like it would be very boring for a lot of people, just watching me struggle on puzzles. I'm gonna go to bed in two hours ago. <laughs> Okay, so I should be able to get three postules now, because I have three rings of pain. Oh, I do, I do have three postules, but I need four postules. Mm. Okay. So I have to find that, uh, the fourth device. I witness uh, was the looker copycat. <laughs> Yo, you think you're funny. And you are. Yes, the, the looker definitely pointed out the flaws of the witness. I've talked a little bit about my feelings regarding the witness on here. I know that a lot of people do not share my um, outlook on the witness, and that is totally fine. I liked it, but, you know, it's... It's not a game that really sets out to be liked. Is this where it came from? I think this is where it came from. Where is the actual door? Oh, here's the door. Can I not go back that way? I do appreciate that this game, like, just kind of outright states you don't have to access things in, in the past in past areas in order to complete current puzzles. That really just kind of um, checks a box for me of like, okay, I, I can rule out the any any uh, possibility of backtracking in this game. I'm not a huge fan of backtracking. I mean, backtracking can be okay, but um, it can also add a huge layer of obfuscation, especially when you're dealing with like puzzles. I can, I can tend to feel a little bit overwhelmed with, well, do I need something in the past? Now I have a new tool. Is that going to work and interface with things in past areas? Yes, no, I don't know. This thing should, uh, they should turn the light off. Maybe the light turned on after I interfaced with it. Can I go, go over here? I don't think so. I'm gonna go eat my stuffed bell peppers I made. I'm not gonna not gonna have my <laughs> appetite ruined by scorn. If it wasn't ruined by now, I think you're okay. The witness was the looker copycat. Bon appetit egg. Gonna steal bot's intellect property. I already did use this one, yeah? Okay. Um, so I really am just looking for another thing to interface. This one had a light. So I just, I just gotta find... That might be actually the thing that I got the key from anyway in the first place. A little detail I appreciate in this game is that if I walk up to a wall, the dude puts his gun down because he can't really hold it in front of him. I, 
I don't know. Did I did I fully explore all the zones in here? I kind of wish those green marks um, below had uh, like recognizable icons, so I could you know remember. Oh yeah, I already I was already down that hallway. Some of these places are beginning to blend together a little bit. Oh! There we go. Okay, found it. Had it. <laughs> All right, fourth fourth ring of of pain obtained, or fourth vertebrate, if you like. All right, you invertebrates, it's time to learn the sponge. Oh, I was here. I was here, and I just didn't look behind me. Damn it. Lock picking looks neat. Is that what that is? <laughs> That's funny. Um, so I don't know where I'm going. I think this area is very um, get lostable. I, I know I've been here, but I don't know. How to get back to where I was. I think this place relevant to the starting zone was on the like sharp left. So I wanna or sharp right, so I wanna go with sharp left. Alright. So we are gonna interact with pastubles postules. One more time. Who do you think figured out all of this architecture? You know, I mean, like, what uh, what circumstance would um, really have to align for um, flesh architecture to be, like, the correct or, like, universally um, acknowledged technology all right is it are we good now yes we are can I interact with this at all oh yeah I can all right okay Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. That is really cool. Oh, I actually really like that as a puzzle concept. That's really cool. What do you think about Eternal Cylinder? I want to play Eternal Cylinder. Um, I, I really wanted to get it when it was new, but it was on Epic. Uh, no no uh, conversation there allowed. Um, <laughs> but um, I do want to play it. I know it has problems, but I know it just looks like a really cool, unique concept. That being said, I, I kind of have to not spend money for a little bit. Oh cool, new toy. I like the splashy sound happening. Is that a giant tick? Oh, hello, friend. Um. 
Are, are you okay? Am I, am I good with you? Oh, he died. Okay. It sucks. So, we got what we needed. Um, we needed a new interface. Looking forward to something going horribly wrong again. <laughs> well, you got what you wanted, for sure. Oh, is that the door I need to interface with? One possibility for this architecture could be a biological AI or something. Biological AI, huh? Hmm. They needed that bimple. Give it back. Oh no, was this was that a necessary organ? Every single like key and interface in this game is basically a, like a very essential organ from some other creature. Listen, if I thought this was a shooting game, I would be very shocked right now to find that there's basically no mur murder, at least not conventional murder. <laughs> um, but uh, having ha had my expectations kind of set with the uh, discourse, I gotta say I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm enjoying A, how not hectic it is, and I'm enjoying also the atmosphere and just like how not stressed out I am. It's just it's just a kind of a really interesting looking puzzle game. And it really is one of the coolest puzzle games I've seen in a while. So what what is this giant tick that I'm holding? I like how the elevator streams. Maybe symbiotic evolution, one thinker organism which has always lived alongside this tool structure organism. What if instead of a biological AI, it was a synthetic natural intelligence? Oh, am I not okay? Oh, our, our lizard friend is... Currently, I, I don't think our lizard friend is doing us any favors. I think they're currently, like, feeding off of us or something. Oh, there's our tick. Gone. What did that do? Isn't it a synthetic natural or oxymoron? Uh, synthetic natural and oxymoron? Not, not necessarily. Um, I mean, for instance, you could grow a cell in a lab. That is synthetic organic. You can create a creature. You can create DNA. You could de design DNA. It's actually a pretty interesting idea. Maybe, maybe basically there were um, organic tools that the the creatures or the de denizens of this world learned to manipulate that allowed for the creation of organic material that would definitely answer a lot of questions like in the same sense that we manipulate trees in order to make a house trees are very when you think about it trees are really handy for us aren't are they not like w w if we didn't have trees we would not have a lot of our beginning building blocks for for things like ha homes and and tables and stuff but when you also think about it a lot of our homes are basically made out of flesh they're made of plant flesh is that not a little weird so just uh, you know consider a world in which hey here's a useful tool or a creature and if i push this thing and if i put my finger in that it seems i can design you know, it can change its DNA, and it it grows in a way that is potentially useful to me. Would we, as humans, not instantly exploit that? Of course we would. So, it definitely answers a few questions. Like, most of the things in this world are made of bones. So it's like, yeah, I'm just going to make this creature that grows in a way that would make, uh, you know, hallways 
really convenient to make, but then, then the thing dies instantly, you know? And then I'm just gonna harvest its uh, bones for hallways. Why do we have extra arms and why are they ripping chunks out of our belly? I don't, I can't tell you that, I don't know. That's synthetic, organic, or biological, yeah, but natural? Uh, I guess you have a point. Oh, yeah, that's, we're quibbling over pen, uh, um, pedantics at this point. This horror game is less scary horror and way more body horror. Body horror is the most horrifying to me. We do that to animals, so yeah. Ah, so we can't interface with this. It, incorrect organ. We need a new organ key. This is like the perfect Saturday streaming game. I'm having a heck of a time. Because it's, it's like exactly chill enough for we can like chat. Um, you know, there's breaks between puzzles so I can see what chat's doing and... Uh, Oh, look at that. Okay, so we can alter our organ key. Do I want to go back now? Oh. I, I kind of like how the inventory system works in this game, which is that it doesn't. There is no in, there is no inventory. I have a lot of things on me, but you know that's not really like there is no swapping between weapons. At least not yet. Maybe if I get a second weapon, I will do that. Ooh. Oh, that's the elevator I came in on, I think. Very laid back. It's very laid back for a game um, that looks like this, yeah. Oh, our, is this our first creature to kill? wish that you would stop that. I can't. This thing needs to recover. Oh my god. It takes a lot of hits. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> First creature that I find that can hurt me in any capacity kills me. Ah. Uh, oops. I tried. The, the, the... Our melee weapon, if you can call it that, basically has two, like, two things. It can, it can do it twice, and then, and then we're done. Or am I? Where was our last save? I am I am lost. I think it was this way? Yeah, it was this way. Okay. Alright, I'll try not to die again, chat. What? Really? That's a bad checkpoint. That's a long time ago that checkpoint was. I can't believe Wow. All right. Where is the thing? I, I guess I want a quick save maybe before I fight that thing again. I like to be fair, I fought it very poorly. I did a very b bad job. 
of fighting that thing. But, like, I would think that the checkpoint would not be over here. Beware the tube tube dog. Tube dog did did me dirty for sure. I was thinking the same about the inventory. Okay. So is there is there a quick save, I wonder? Can I can I save? I can only I can only load. Heal is E apparently. Toggle inventory. What? Oh. <laughs> apparently there is a there is a um. Wait, what? Weird. All right. Oh, that's healing! Oh my god. Yo, maybe this game does need kind of a tutorial. <laughs> like, the game did not at all make it obvious to me that that was healing. Reload? What a switch. There's a, there's a lot of things happening in this right now. Okay, let's try not to die to this thing. Okay, now I'm gonna run away while it reloads. Uh, I kind of don't like how subtle the ammo is. Okay, we did it. Jeez. That was a- that was a lot of work. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. Now that I know that the button does something, I- my brain is incorporating it. Is there another spit dog? Am I hearing a creature or am I hearing the walls? Oh, that looks like a spit dog. Is it alive? It is alive. Stop interfacing so we can kill the dog. I feel like the, the best way to handle combat is to do a couple shots and then reload. Oh my god. I think you recover naturally. I don't think you necessarily have to save. Or oh, sorry, uh, heal. Okay, so now how do we get back? Oh, is a dog. Wait, that's not a dog. That's a new thing. Okay, two two hits to kill that thing. I do think we heal naturally, which is good. What is this thing? Can can we close the door? We can close the door. Weird that we can do that. All right. So we should be able to do go over here, I think. Maybe. Really not sure where we're going. I wish there was a map. 
I, I always wish that. If I'm even ever a little bit lost in a game, I'm just like, I wish I had a map. I would just be a lot less lost if I didn't have a, if I had a map right now. Oh. Uh, are you gonna come try and kill me? No. Hello, friend. You gonna try and come kill me? I'm assuming that's where we're going. Uh oh. Ouch. I think we know definitively now that the lizard friend is not our friend and is fact trying to kill us somehow. So I think our, our, our motivation is officially we're trying to find a way to deal with that. That's a chicken. We have flesh dogs and flesh chickens. Gotcha. Hey, hey. Hey, what? I wasn't quick enough. Pretty sure this is where we came from. A thing is really... Why is it also... It's like also holding our healing device. Hey, bot. I'm a little bit concerned about which of these things are alive or dead. Oh, hello. Ah, he got to what? Hey, wait a minute. He only hit me once. You know what? I guess I do have a health bar. Maybe I was taking damage and I didn't realize it. Ugh. Where is where is my where is my save point going to be? Oh man. What's the, I wish it was a bit more liberal with uh Okay, we, we, we could probably use some healing, huh? Okay. Uh, it would be nice if I could try and kill some of these creatures without taking damage, but that doesn't really seem doable. You don't heal after all. It, it, um, I was kind of m misled a little bit there. Uh, I was led to believe that I healed because after I was done being in pain, uh, the, the kind of blood interface abetted a little bit. It's a very polite parasite. It holds my things for me. I wish I could save my game.
I, I can't kill this thing without taking some damage. And it can hit me from very far away. I, I actually am maybe not a huge fan of some of the combat in this game. Which is ironic. I'm, I'm actually enjoying the puzzle solving more than the combat. Because I don't understand how to do it without taking damage. Well, that's something I probably will have to fight at some point. Maybe. I'm just kind of watching it. Oh. Hello. Yeah. No thanks. Can you... Place, this game is kind of like a, a just a fleshy amusement park. I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm I'm back here. So we can go back here. Okay. Well, I don't know if I want to be back here yet. What does this other device do? Is this building infested because those grabbers look very unorganic to me? Couldn't tell you, honestly. I think I know what's up. Maybe I don't know what's up. I probably need to, uh, I'm probably on the wrong floor right now. The frames really didn't like that monster. Oh, did they not? I'm sorry about the frames, guys. I do think it's kind of a shame. I'm, I'm actually like dreading any future combat right now. At least until I get a better, you know, quotation marks weapon. Okay, I am understanding what the game wants me to do now. There's a lot of um, interfacing with uh, devices before you fully understand what they are or what they do. Which, you know, like... I guess that kind of makes it a puzzle, but I, I, I do wonder if it's a good puzzle. I guess, like, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the almost semi-Rube Goldberg-style gameplay. Ooh. <laughs> I 
They're just like crawling along a string of bodies of their own kin. Okay, so we're not doing anything there. Hey, Faust. I, I always come in late. That's okay. This is a surprise stream, so uh, no no worries. Future Combat seems like a great name for a game. <laughs> Pretty sure Future Combat is just Cruelty Squad. <laughs> Which, I need to play that game at some point. Are we pouring acid into this? Oh, 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 okay. Calm down there, machine. Oh, God, please. I, I, I hate this. I don't like the combat. I'm sorry. I can't kill those things without taking damage. Like for me, I don't know, maybe I'm just bad, but I, I, like I'm not finding an easy way about it. Because, because this thing only gets two shots, basically. And then I have to run away and I can't run up to it quick enough and also pull out the gun quick enough to hit it before it's able to acid shot me. Fortunately, they're going to give me some more healing, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about doing things perfectly. Maybe that's the point. Maybe you can't do things, quotation marks, perfectly. I mean, it's, 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 this world is far, far from perfect, right? Hello. I mean, yeah, like, I can't, I'm not quick enough to, to get up to it. Oh, I actually did it. I actually killed the thing without taking damage. Incredible. I have no idea where I am right now, by the way. Treat him like xenomorphs. You survey areas and kill one at a time, giving yourself space. You love- I love Cruelty Squad, Death Play It. You were talking about Immersive Sims the other day, and that one- That is one of the best. I- I am aware. <laughs> I am aware that it is a very good immersive sim. I guess the key here is just to like, wait. It's better to wait for something to come to you and then you can hit it without having to run up to it. Maybe that's the, that's the key. I don't know if that's a creature. It's definitely a creature, and I can't wait for that thing to come up to me. Uh, is there maybe a weak spot on those doggos? I think that hitting them in the head does actually make a difference. It seems to, anyway. Even the combat in this game is pretty laid back. I don't like that I'm taking damage from things, but every you know, all said and done, this is pretty, pretty chill as far as combat goes. We need more mousetrap likes. Faust, have you ever played, uh, did you, you play Incredible Machine as a kid? Oh. 
I have to assume as a kid because, you know, as an adult would imply you're you're pretty ancient. Oh my god, two of you. Ow. No! Ah, oh, damn it. Damn. Some of the sound is weird in this game. And I don't mean like it sounds weird, I mean like the way it, I hear it is weird. Corners are my friend. There you go. If you ever played Aliens FPS, they have the same attack pattern as low level Xenos. You just stay back and wait and focus one at a time, even if there are more. That sounds, yeah, that sounds about right. I do really appreciate how, like, not actually spooky this game is, which is, a, you know, ironic. I don't know, I, I do like a spooky game. I'm more of a, I more appreciate an atmospheric game than a spooky game. I'm like legit upset I never played Incredible Machine from how it looks. You never played Incredible Machine? Um, one of my favorite iterations, there was a lot of Incredible Machines. Now, is there, now there's Crazy Machines, which I know is pretty good. I haven't played it myself, but um, there's Incredible Machine and then there's Incredible Tune Machine, which was my favorite. I just loved how zany it was. It really was like the zany version. Uh, uh oh. Do we have, like, a time limit here? Because this thing is really not a... It's not okay. We're not okay with it. It is actually hurting us? Am I, like, taking too long to solve these puzzles? What... What... What is this? Okay. What is this? What? <gasps> Gun! Gun! Uh. Oh god! Ouch! Oh come on! Okay, so... Jesus. Very satisfying gun. Oh god, please stop. Uh, I don't have any more ammo. Uh, I wonder if this thing would give me more ammo. Nope. Um, this game is more phallic than an HR guy or wet dream. With limited ammo? Yeah, it's very limited.
really not sure. Oh, okay, I think I get it. I've almost got it. There we go. Shoot, shoot till, uh, shoot it with once with the shoddy and then finish with the penetrator. Saves ammo. Ah, okay. Good idea. Oh, there we go. Force big. A little bit. A little bit. Sometimes, sometimes I don't understand a puzzle until I've solved it. Okay, so now we go down to the second floor. Probably when I finish this, like, quotation marks area, I will, uh, end the stream. Just so you all know. So, how does how do I switch? Oh, I. How do I switch weapons? Apparently, I can switch to a different weapon, but how how does one do that? I can do it from the inventory system. But how can I do it in any other way? Weapon one, two, three. Okay, so I do have weapon one, two. Oh, there we go. It says switch spacebar, but that doesn't seem to do anything. It's just fun to, to do this. Oh god. Sorry, I keep switching. Oh god, what is happening? Okay, right now. Did I accidentally get like a weird execution? Classic weapon swap numbers. Mouse. I'm, I'm used to mouse scrolling 
for different weapons, but I guess it, the animation is so long it wouldn't really work in this. Anyway, I did that abysmally bad. I'm sorry. Also, I have no- I have one more shot with this thing. This- this thing really is our, uh, you know, like, solve all plumbus. It even kind of looks like a plumbus. But it, it- it really does, like, uh, have all of our stuff. Okay, so this- this puzzle is gonna be frequent and I am- I'm gonna be bad at it, like, every time. Okay, so that's fine. That's not fine. There we go. It wasn't as bad. Unlike Doom and like Duke Nukem, you still take damage during them. I triggered an execute. I still take damage when I'm executing? That's dumb. I don't agree with that, if, if I'm being honest. Like, you know... Give me the benefit... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Give me the benefit of, uh, like, not taking damage, or iframes. Ouch. If you're gonna put those animations in, otherwise they're just... just bad. For the player. Like, they're just a bad thing that happens occasionally. Is there anything... oh, I see. I can't go over here yet? Maybe? That's the only, um, I will say that's the only decision so far that I don't agree with. Oh my god. So if there's only one, you may as well melee fight it. Especially when you don't have ammo. It is kind of needless, to be honest. Here's here's my contention. If you got anything from it, like you pulled out an organ that gave your tick an extra healing, then you know what? Sure, fine. That would be fine. Um, that would at least make it a nice, fun little extra thing that the player got. But as it is now, it's just like, oh, cool. I get to watch this animation, and also I get to take damage. But, um, outside of that, uh, this is the only time- only decision I'm like, eh, I don't agree with that. But, everything else is, is pretty good, so far. I'm even kind of getting used to the combat. Maybe those executions only happen when you're right on top of the enemy as a punishment? That's a weird thing to punish. I'm not sure why you would want to punish that necessarily. Like I can I could agree maybe that that's a thing that happens, but if the animation is only going to punish the player, then I, I don't know why I would want to like dissuade the player from getting close to an enemy. Okay, so I think we're good. I have all the things I need down here. I believe.
There you go. Looks less like a gory play and more like a I pushed too deep and now my drill's stuck. Yeah. Well, I, then, you know, I feel like there there just needs to be a bit more structure or rigid structure in terms of, like, well, when does that happen? When am I punished? Give the player consistency. I pressed the wrong flesh switch. That was, that was the incorrect flesh switch. And that's, you know, I, I, and we're talking a lot about a very small thing part of this game, but I, I do, I do question it. I'm just, I'm asking questions. Uh, the swing's really close to you, huh? I'm assuming we have to go up now. So I think I need this hook thing to grabby thing it now. No. I, I, I did the wrong grabby thing. Um, am I playing with this thing? This, uh, it's a weird game because, like, um, I really am just trying to, I'm just, like, kind of navigating this flesh world without fully understanding it and just seeing what works. Okay, so am I, I'm now entering that. gonna go up no oh I see I'm going I'm not going up I'm going inside somewhere previously inaccessible oh god Truly not okay. We've got pustubules again. Oh, we got more ammo. Nice. Kind of wish... I, I kind of don't enjoy the receiving of the ammo. Because um, that tells me I'm going to have to do a lot more combat. I did say that once I got to the next area, I was going to stop playing um, and end the stream. And that is true. I do. I am going to end the stream. I just want to have a quick look. Where are you going, buddy? Well, if I don't have to fight you, I'm not complaining, honestly. Oh, okay. That didn't work as intended. Oh, 
Kind of wish I could lean a little bit. I'm glad you can't hit me right now. Some things are kind of hard to hit, you know? I'm assuming I maybe don't want to do that yet. Oh, are we going into that thing? I hate stomach pain. <laughs> this game freaky, bro. Looks less like a girl. Do you think all the lights are just bioluminescence? Oh god. Oh god, ouch! What, what? Stop it! Ouch. Okay, new enemy type. Also a pain in the butt. Um, let's let's end it there. Chat. It's 3 p.m. Perfect, perfect timing, honestly. Um, I hope you enjoyed this extra stream. It was uh, kind of a short one, but I wanted to play Scorn. I'm very grateful for uh, getting a key for this game. Thank you very much, Scorn devs or com uh, publisher. I'm not sure. Uh, let me see. Who, who's the publisher of Scorn? Let me let me do this proper. Eb. That's the developer. Kepler Interactive. I have to assume they, they were um, responsible for me getting a key, and I, I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Um, I'm enjoying this game. I would like to play more of it. Maybe I'll do so more uh, next Saturday. More score next Saturday. Who knows? It really is up to how I'm feeling and, and how uh, my week went. <laughs> um, but seeing as I have been getting less recording done than I'd like because I'm doing more streaming then it might be that I have to take that time to do more recording. So, um, anyway, thank you all, chat, for joining me. Um, I've, I've enjoyed this. Hope you have. I'll see you next Tuesday for sure um, for more Library of Ruina. And what else are we doing? M more, not Fran Bro, Bo. I've got... That's, that's done now, but I've got some fun stuff. Maybe more um, Spectral Mall. 